Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you an update on what's going on with these two big storms we have. And the first one is this one right here. Thank you for the break, guys. I did love it. My family did enjoy it as well. Now, this is Invest 95L. This is the one of the two that I showed you last week, how this one can go all the way to this region. And then we have an issue right here. That's which where we're still at with this. It could either go towards Bahamas and Florida. It could still curve towards the Carolinas. It could still be a fish storm. But I'm going to show you the information that I have found for you this morning. Now, it's going to take about three to five days to get up in about this region right here. So it's still far away down the road before any possible impacts. Well, main thing we got to watch for is if it goes to the northern track, which is the trend right now, especially with the Euro, the GFS sees it going a little bit further to the south. So a more southern track will take it, of course, into our Caribbean and go further down the line. But right now, we're still sitting at all this unfavorable environment that's starting to go away in this region. So anything that comes in this region is going to have issues at the moment. But the storm is very strong. It's coming off the gates very strong. Matter of fact, even the hurricane analysis models is showing a potential major hurricane in the next five days. It is already moving at 23 miles per hour straight to the west. And it's already ready to form as it is now. It is at 29 miles per hour winds, 1,010 millibar pressure. So it is growing very quickly. Matter of fact, this could be either a tropical depression, maybe even straight to a next tropical storm as it moves through the MDR. Now, I am expecting it to strengthen up, maybe even a major hurricane over here by lesser Antilles like Euro is showing, but then maybe have issues. Plus, I'll give you an update on that second storm that's coming because that one's still showing bigger and stronger of an anomaly. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I hope everybody did come out of that storm medallia pretty good. Hopefully everybody's okay. Now you can also see the latest update on the intensity guidance that all of them have it literally in three days, in 72 hours, they're all gonna start ramping up to definitely a hurricane, even showing more chances of a major hurricane. The hurricane analysis models is definitely showing a major hurricane, and so is the Euro this morning. Now you can see with the hurricane analysis forecast system A, that it's not giving it a lot of time yet. It takes all the way to four and five days to start strengthening up and going down close to a hurricane already just within the next five days. Hurricane analysis B shows the same thing, but it goes a little further into the main development region. And then after the five days, it gets a little bit closer to where it's going towards a major hurricane already reaching the Lesser Antilles. We can also see it is still going on that west-northwest track. It's going to keep going right into this region. And you can already see it's not getting a lot of shear at all on that system. Major hurricane would be intensified if this is correct according to the analysis. You also see chances just for a tropical depression. It's already at 100% in the next five days. Guys, I think this is going to form up in the next couple of days as it goes to the west, northwest. Now, as we go seven days away, this is seven days away. It could either keep going west or it can go into Atlantic. And on this model run, it shows it going a little bit further to the west, but then eventually head north. The trend has always been eventually head north. And some of them actually show that the trend will be to weaken and then pop up late. Because you can see in your sea surface temperatures, all those cyclones in the Atlantic taking away all the heat in the Atlantic. You also have, have what Adalia took out from the Western Caribbean and the Eastern Gulf of Mexico. Took out all that sea surface temperature heat. It's all cooled down. That sucked all that up. But you can see this right here. This is right where this is going to be going. It's going to be going over warm waters. And it's going to get even warmer waters again as it passes by the Bahamas. So if it turns early, it'll go into these cooler waters and won't be much of a thing. But if it stays a little further to the south, it could rod this all the way around and stay intensified the whole time. And the latest guidance from the Euro shows in the next eight days, the majority shows that it will be a little bit further to the north. Also, if you see by the color of most of these intensity guidance, showing that it will become a major hurricane as it's passing by the Lesser Antilles, if it's not one before then. Majority of them show yes. And if you keep going, you see it either go towards the Atlantic Ocean, which a lot of them are agreeing to. Now, that would mean a cold front coming down, putting a lot of shear, but also a block, which would push it into the Atlantic, while a few show it's still going to the west. 
So the majority is saying that it will not come towards the U.S. according to this model run. These, I wouldn't believe, over 40 others that say no. So when we start looking at other areas for other data and see what other possibilities can be. So when we go by the GO satellite, you can see it right here by the 7th at 1 p.m. going through the Western MDR. And the GO satellite keeps it a little bit further to the south, going right through the Bahamas and maybe going right towards Florida by the 12th in that region. Also, another one coming right off as you go from the 12th and on. If it's not this one, it's going to be the one right after this one. Because we have a huge anomaly coming at the end of September. It moved up from instead of an October serious storm coming, it's going to be a double banger for September. The one we got now and the one that's coming at the end of it. But you can see how it's picking up moisture as it goes through Saturday on the 9th. Even gets a closed low right there while you have your system moving through at 1 p.m. on the night, strengthening over the Lesser Antilles towards the Gold Satellite for right now, towards Puerto Rico. And as it keeps going to the west, it keeps getting a lot of moisture. Look how it gets a lot of precipitation around the ring, around the eye, help it form up and stay strong. Look like maybe a little bit of a curve at last second right there, possibly. So we definitely have to watch this. The later, the, the, the curve north is a given. Everything shows that. I mean, ensemble, every model run. Wind, though, is the question. So we got to get a little bit closer and see how it's going to set up with all the high pressures around. And in this model run, the ghost satellite takes it to a tropical storm by the 8th for the Lesser Antilles. Weakens down because it's an unfavorable environment still in this area, guys. And then strengthens back up as it gets closer back towards a tropical storm. So we will follow up on this. Matter of fact, when you look through all the ensembles, you can see how they're all showing maybe a possible early curve. What I'm starting to notice is a lot of them get this stall effect. It goes to one little area, then it stalls for a day, then it heads north. So that could easily change from that point on. But a lot of them is showing the north. But if you follow this right here, this is your controlled member. This is your more than likely outcome out of all this. You see, more than likely, it will stay a weak wave, undetectable, and then come up later. So it's going to stay a weak wave because it's an unhealthy environment. It's in sinking air environment. I showed you the anomaly. I will show you again. Then it comes right back, just like we've seen in the previous model run, and strengthens up at the last minute after it gets away from that unhealthy environment for the cyclone to form it gets back in good environment and that right there is some strong sea surface temperatures that is where it warms right back up just like i showed y'all showing if that was to happen right here in your control member you can see from the east coast it literally is in 10 days from this guys so do not take this as a forecast we have to keep this going we have to keep get seeing what the changes are see how it looks like it gets blocked by a high pressure yeah it looks like it gets blocked by a high pressure by a cold front and then it sits there and keeps it towards the coast. So, and this strengthens along the coast. So that's what that is right now. This would definitely change by the next run. Also, not getting chased into the Atlantic Ocean. Right there, that would be the block. So this, there is going to be a cold front coming is what this tells me. And there's going to be a block. That's why some of those model runs have a stall right here. And you can see this on the latest run with the Ural. Showing it going right towards the 9th and the 10th by the Lesser Antilles. A little further to the north. And it does strengthen up to a major hurricane. It's all the way down into the 930s, guys. So potentially going to a Cat 4 hurricane. But you can see how it does that stall. It just sits there and stalls because it's getting blocked possibly by a high pressure of a cold front. I will keep you updated. I will stay on top of this. It's also trending. You can see this with the Canadian coming in by the 9th, a little bit stronger, a little bit further to the south for Lesser Antilles. Goes through Puerto Rico and still... It still strengthens up, but it turns towards the Bahamas a little bit sooner. And that's what we've seen in a lot of the, the ensembles according to the Euro. The GFS wants to take it a little bit further inland. And you can see the different runs on GFS. So the 0Z run, the balloon data run, shows it weakening by Lesser Antilles, which is not the trend, but weakens as it goes by the rest of the islands until it gets all the way by the Bahamas by the 14th and starts coming back into something but no effect right there you can even see this on the 6z the next run with the gfs showing it still be a rainmaker a nice little storm for the lesser antilles and it didn't show that weakening so the trend is it won't be something just a wave that's for sure but it shows that it goes a little bit further a little bit closer to what the ensembles are showing so we definitely got to see what happens when this storm 
plays with this cold front coming? Does it block it? Does it push it? Just like every other scenario that we run into with this. Does it push it? Does it block it? Does it hang over it and allow it to path right underneath it? And just keep going to the west right there. That's what we would have to check and see. But according to all the ensembles, when I check with the euro, you can see they all group up and they all agree that it will eventually take that turn. Even the GFS, a little bit further to the south side, but it all agrees that it will eventually take that turn. That's what the ensembles agree on. So it will be rare if it goes any further, guys. But National Hurricane Center, as of right now, does give it a 80%, 40% in the next 48 hours that could do something. So it's either, according to the one of the hurricane analysis models, where it could really do something in 48 hours, or the other hurricane analysis model where it could take up to five days. So we got to see which one to go by because that's going to be important for later down the road. And you see it has a little bit of west-northwest turn towards the lesser Antilles, more than a little bit more into the Caribbean like the GFS. So I would believe the Euro at this point right now is showing that it will turn eventually, but whether it's going to be a major hurricane for the lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Bahamas, maybe Dominican Republic, Haiti, Turks and Caicos, I will keep you updated. We still got to know what happens with this cold front and this possible block later down the road. It's impossible to do a forecast right now. That would be 100% confident it's so far away. It's just coming off of Africa, guys. Because when you look at the update with Global Tropics, they do expect this wave that was coming. Remember, I showed you last week from the 6th through the 12th sometime. But after this wave moves through and the other waves come off the coast of Africa from the 13th through the 19th, they got a better chance, greater than a 40% chance already is something that's going to build in this region from the 13th through the 19th. So this has always been a pretty confident way of showing forecasts. Every time it showed this, it always showed it on National Hurricane Center days later. And I'm showing it that might go a little bit further than the 19th. Because if you look here on your potential velocity anomaly, where you have unfavorable sinking air or rising air, favorable conditions, because you want rising air to keep this pulling up and strengthening. Look at this strong anomaly that we've been watching come ever since the beginning of October. It's moved up a little bit more to the end of September. It's still right over Central America, Western Caribbean, and the Gulf. That's why we got to watch this. This is very powerful. This is almost to the very top of the color chart, if not there, it's very close. Very powerful system. Matter of fact, the one we're looking at now, potential major hurricane that could come through the MDR, then weaken down a little bit. That is this white section right here. The strength right here coming off the MDR, you see it all the way to the 14th, 15th, the strength coming off the MDR, and then a neutral phase that is gonna stay just fine. Nothing can favor it, nothing can hurt it. But once it gets past the Lesser Antilles, showing you have that unfavorable phase going to that system for a while. That's what GFS is seeing. There's a lot of turning going on. That's a cold front coming through. A lot of the different things in the atmosphere make it unfavorable. At the same time, it's going to be unfavorable until we get to the 20th is what I'm showing. Then this anomaly is coming through. This is going to be the big storm. I was thinking about maybe calling it October storm because it's so powerful, but it's moving up now, late September. I'll keep you updated on this. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to start the afternoon updates today or should I wait for this Invest 95L to come a little closer. It's still three to five days going through the MDR. But thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your family. Thank you all for your prayers and your comments. Y'all been a really blessing to my family here. So thank you. And if anyone else didn't know, if you go to my community tab, you'll see the story has been following. I've had some serious issues pass by. Thank God they passed by. My father has taken care of me. Amen. Thank you all so much for y'all thinking about me. It does make a difference. I know it does. Now, today I want to read to you Isaiah 12. And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou was angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, 
for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you have a very blessed day today. Thank you so much for your time. And I wish the best for every single one of y'all. I'm glad y'all power did eventually come on. I see Florida still got some left. Remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always gives you strength in time of need, gives you wisdom in time of knowing, and gives you peace in times of stressful situations. He has blessed me so many times, and I can count he has blessed me so much with all of you. Only if you knew how much of a blessing y'all have been on me last few days. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs>